Now, they're trying to attract more and more people into teaching these days, aren't they? Uh, you've seen the adverts on the television. Uh, I saw one last night. And one of our Essex schools is doing a bit of innovative stuff itself because they are offering internships for undergraduates, the best of my knowledge, to see if they really want to go into teaching. Uh, Donna Walsh is the Director of Teaching at Burnt Mills Academy Trust. Uh, Donna, hello. Hello. What are some of the skills that you need to be a teacher that you can learn from just a bit of internship? Um, So, Dave, we were looking to recruit um, six um, physics internships and six maths interns um, in a four-week paid internship program in the summer term this year. Um, we are looking for people who are proactive and, and, and think they might want to go into a career in teaching but haven't had the chance to have an experience in a school setting. Right, so are you looking just at, at under, undergraduates or are you looking at everybody? We are currently looking at second and third year undergrads. So we've been successful in securing DfE funding to run this paid internship scheme with STEM subjects, so science, technology, engineering and maths. So our focus is on maths and physics undergrads. Um, So that's who we are seeking. We're seeking 12 undergrads in total to come and and complete this internship with us to trial teaching. Because it's not bad money, is it? No, it's, it's um, definitely an attractive wage. Um, we are also offering accommodation and lunch costs, so students would have no travel costs, um, and they, it's an alternative to a part-time working job in the summer term. So what, is it 400 quid a week? Yes, that's what we're looking to, to, give, to give them. I mean, that's pretty, that's pretty attractive, isn't it, 400 quid a week? Well, we're looking to attract um, undergrads in specific subjects where we're actually finding it difficult to recruit at the moment. So we think something like this will give them a good trial um, to see if they like it. So it will be beneficial for us short term and long term in terms of recruiting teachers into the profession. So what will they actually do? Because I I guess the cynic in me would say, ah, what are you going to do? You're going to stick them in front of a class. You've got all this government funding, 400 quid a week, uh, bang, bang, bang. And then that's going to solve your teaching crisis. Is that, is that going to happen or not? Um, we don't think it'll fix it straight away, but we are um, a growing multi-academy trust. So BMAT um, are a growing multi-academy trust. We've got secondary schools in Epping, Stansted, Harlow and, and now in East London. Um, so we're looking to train these interns in things like lesson planning, preparation, differentiation for learners, behaviour management, assessment and feedback. They'll get opportunities to observe other teachers. They'll get opportunities to teach lessons um, across the school. They'll get to work with an experienced in mentor and this will all enhance their developmental teaching experience but not uh, teaching on the cheap no we, we we wouldn't like it to think like that we want to think it, uh, of it as a very de- developmental experience for those candidates who think they might want to go into teaching but really haven't been as as you said earlier it's quite difficult to get into some of these industries especially in schools with safeguarding etc so with this funding we can dbs check and safeguard all our candidates coming in on internship and we can give them that opportunity to work across a range of schools um, and even across a range of key stages because our our trust works from reception all the way up to um, A levels. So what what happens if somebody comes in, an undergraduate comes in, and they get a really really difficult class, and it puts them off teaching for life? Um, we would like to think that they wouldn't in our trust. If I'm honest, um, we have a I fantastic think, oh, they group w- of schools. Every trust says that, Donna. Come on. <laughs> No, I can honestly say we have a fantastic group of schools. And do you know what? They do need to come across situations where they do have to manage behaviour. And and we teach them that. We teach them the skills in trialling things, strategies to use in order to ensure that behaviour is successful for learning in the classroom. Right, because a clip around the ear is not acceptable. No, so certainly no. not. No, just, so just we, we have lots of in-school expertise and we have the capacity to train people. We are a designated teaching school, so we have the capacity to train teachers and we take in trainee teachers every year. Right. How important is on-the-job training? Because, you know, I, I, I want to talk about this generally. We're talking about the number of children who actually don't do work experience now, which really worries me. I don't know about you. Uh, but also undergraduates, getting that opportunity to have hands-on experience, it's really important, isn't it? I think it is really important. It's, it's 
a, an internship now that where we're giving them an attractive wage, but they're getting to trial this out. So we have lots of links with um, the universities in London. We have a partnership with the University of East London. We have links with London Met Uni, University College London. So we, we know what it's like to bring in trainee teachers. And, and we think hands-on in-school training is the way forward because we're learning from good to outstanding teachers and, and they see what it's really like to work as a teacher. It's, it's not masking behind the image of nine to three jobs and holidays. It's giving them the real experience in school every day, all day. Looking at your youngsters, I mean, we've looked at it from you know, people who want to go into teaching. Do your youngsters have work experience these days in the various academies? Yes, we do. We still run work experience. You still do? Four. Yes, so our year 10 or your year 11 students all have that opportunity to go out on work experience. We, it's something that we feel is very important so that they actually see what real life is like when they, when they finish school. Because it's a big commitment for the school and, and for the employer, isn't it? Yeah, massively. And it's, it's, it's a lot of hard work placing students in school and going out to visit them and checking that they're OK and, and preparing them for going out to work. We've got to kind of show them what they need to be doing when they're out in, in public, in work, in industry, um, because I suppose they're so in, in a school routine. Mm. Donna, would you like to see it come back as, as a sort of part of the school syllabus? Because, it, you know, it was not it was taken away from the compulsory bit in 2012 by the government. Would you like to see it put back in again? Yeah, we absolutely would, especially because we're a teaching school and we train in-house anyway. That's what we do. We provide that experience to students. So we'd, we'd quite like to, see, to ensure that that happens across the board um, because I think it is very valuable for them. All right, Donna, thank you very much indeed. Looking at from both aspects there, um, both for undergraduates who want to become teachers and also the children at the school where these undergraduates are going. So uh, really good look at that. Thank you, Donna. Donna Walsh, who's the Director of Teaching at Burt Mills Academy Trust.